Chances are you already have quite a stash of embroidery designs and they may be scattered all over your computer. And most likely these are stitch or machine files. Hatch can open machine files just as easily as an EMB file. I'm Linda Goodall and in this video I'll show you how easy it is to access them from Hatch. First, let's open a design and then we'll talk about how to get Hatch to see yours. So I'll go to Manage My Designs. In another video, I showed you all about the designs that come with Hatch. In addition to those, a folder called My Embroidery is also created. And in there you'll find My Designs and My Machine Files. Yours will probably be empty. I've been using Hatch for a while, so I have lots of files in there. I store designs that I'm going to export for my sewing machine in the My Machine Files folder. And in My Designs, these are where I've stored designs I've created or ones that I've modified by adding lettering and other things to that. To open a design, go to the folder that you want. I've already got one selected here, my Hatch Sampler folder. And actually a lot of these designs are included with the new version of Hatch. To open up a design, I'll just double click it. I'll get a message. And this is sort of a warning to let you know that we're opening a stitch file. We're not opening an object file and that we can't always scale it uh, too much. So 10% is recommended and you will need to test because not all designs will scale depending on the types of stitches used. Click OK. There's my design. So what about all your other embroidery designs? Where are they? Well, all you need to do is to tell Hatch where they are and then we can see them in the design library. So if you look on my list, you can see that here's public embroidery and my designs that were created by Hatch. And then I have a couple other folders that are under this, this embroidery category. And one of them is called Hatch Stuff. And then we have another one. These folders have not been copied. They are just an alias. So a shortcut, if you will. Let's add another folder to my list. At the bottom of the Manage Designs toolbox, you'll find Manage Embroidery Library Locations. So we'll click on that, and we can see what's already added. I'm going to click Add, then I'll just navigate to my folder. Now mine happens to be in my user's directory, but yours are probably going to be out here on your PC somewhere. So you'll just navigate to the folder, and the one I want is called Embroidery Stuff. So I'll select it and click Include in Folder. Now it's in this list. I just click OK. And there it is in my list. Now what if I want to get rid of one? Let's say I want to get rid of this one. I'll go back to Manage Embroidery Library Locations, find it, click Remove, click OK. And it's no longer in my list. Now it didn't remove those designs from my computer. All it did was remove the reference or the shortcut to that folder from my list. So that's how easy it is to maintain. I love that I can see everything in the navigator without disturbing my normal organization. 